Hello people of YouTube, Megaslank Dude 10, also known as Chaotic Mind, back again. This time I've got a little update to a project I've done a while back. I don't know if I said it in the video or not, but if you've seen the video I made about my uh, Sega Genesis emulator in a controller mod that I did, I might have mentioned about doing a thing to make it where it will automatically launch. Anybody who knows anything about computers will know that since Windows Vista, with Vista 7 and 8, that Microsoft disabled the auto run for USB devices. But there is still a way around that. And that is with CD drives or optical media drives. They still have an option to auto launch stuff, if depending on how your computer is set. So, to that end, little devices like this particular flash drive that I've got here emulate a CD drive to auto launch software contained on the USB drive. This particular drive here is a SanDisk Cruiser Micro 4 gigabyte model. It comes with that U3 damn it U3 launch pad software on it. And it's got the standard flash drive space as well as a second small partition for the um, C emulated CD drive. I have reconfigured this one with an open source tool known as U3 tool or something like that which basically is just a very lightweight launcher that sits on that emulated CD drive and allows you to launch whatever you want from the USB drive itself and it basically works and has just got the launcher executable a small configuration file that you can edit and then a second configuration file that you place on the root of the actual USB drive storage space and then that you can configure to launch whatever you want. So, let's see how it works here. Homemade USB extension cable because I use a laptop now and I've got a 10 port USB hub back there where that blue glow is. Okay, enough of that. I'll plug this in if I can do it single handedly. Come on. There we go. It's plugged in. Yes, I'm a brony. Don't give me shit over it. And look here. CD Drive J. Sega Genesis. Run Sega Genesis.exe. Okay. And voila. When I click that, Kega Fusion, also now known as Just Plain Fusion 3.64, launches that. If I was to select the uh, option to and do this every time I installed the drive in, then whenever I plug the drive in on this computer, it would automatically open it up. So we'll just close that out and we will open the Sega Genesis Z to view the folder and files. Here's part of the secret, U3 Auto Run. And all that this does is exe file I've got it mapped to the fusion folder and then the fusion executable I've got eject disabled so that's the second half of the equation the first half is right here CD drive J Sega Genesis and the secret to it is the Sega Genesis application here this is just the icon that I use for it and the real magic is this auto run file right here open Sega Genesis exe and then the icon so yeah, because this is an emulated CD drive, it reads a configuration file, executes this, and then uses this to place the icon for the drive, as you saw earlier. So that's how that works. It's a fairly simple process to do. You just need to use U3 tool, and i tell you what, I'll give you links to everything below if you have a drive that has U3 on it that you want to do this to as well. So yeah, once it launches the U3 tool ex executable, that then goes and reads this file here that's on the actual USB storage assembly. And then, since this is not on the emulated CD drive, you can edit this however you want. If I don't want it to launch the Fusion emulator, I could just change the directory up to whatever I want it to run. Very easy, reconfigurable, and if I want to change the icon or the name of the emulated CD drive, I can change that too by reflashing it. So now we'll move on to me putting it inside the controller. I'll see you in just a moment. It'll be a while for me, but it'll be just a second for you. 
Okay, I'm back. Here I've got the controller I built disassembled. And you can see my homemade creation here. Yes, I use black tape, don't judge. I'm not a professional hacker the likes of some of those guys, so no comments. But anyways, here we got a four port USB hub. What you see sticking out the end under my finger there is a four gigabyte USB drive that I had put on this initially. And down here we've got the four gig cruiser micro with the U3. I've already pulled the USB port off of it so now I'm going to disassemble, disable or take the USB drive off of this one and hook the wires to this and this drive, this controller will have a built-in emulator that auto runs on any Windows PC so I will solder it in and I'll get back to you with the controller partially reassembled okay here it is partially reassembled you can see that down here I've got the USB hub and the SanDisk Cruiser micro drive stuffed into it. You can see the glow of the light from the USB drive. And here is my old drive in it. Something I'm guessing Chinese. It's all one piece enclosed. Where I had the wire soldered, that was the USB um, connections. But yeah, so here she is. I just gotta put the game controller board back and it's ready to go. Be back in a moment. Okay, so I got the controller back together, ready to go. Everything's working. Got the cable for it here, up to there. So, look at the screen. Nothing going. Neither on my second screen. I have made a video about that if you're confused. Taskbar. Just Skype and Chrome. Alrighty, let's go. If I can do this single handedly. Oop. You can see the glow. Sega Genesis Z has opened up. And now, where is the CD drive? CD was supposed to have auto launched, but it didn't. Let's try this again. Okay, there it is. CD Drive J, Sega Genesis Model 2 icon, run Sega Genesis.exe. Okay. Click on it, and bamo, fusion. And one thing that I really like about this, Sandisk Cruiser Micros, they have that LED on them. And I was able to place it in such a way that it shows up right here in the middle of the controller and kind of glows through it. But yeah, there you go. And another neat thing about this is the way I set this up. So I would say I want to play a game. Uh, let's load a Genesis ROM. And under Sega Z, I've got it set to where this will always show up as Z, the actual USB flash storage drive, on any computer. So that way the directories I have set in the configuration don't have to be changed every time. They'll always point to the same space. And then all your games right here. Sega Genesis ROM, we got games, hat games, new games, new Sonic games, prototypes, Sonic CD, it's a CD game. I need to sort this out. Let's go in here. Some of the new Sonic Hacking Contest games. Uh, let's just try this one out just to test it. no audio because I don't have the sound system turned on see it works we got up down left right A B and C 
there we go and of course start deposit and I don't know why it's green I guess that's just the way this hack is but there you go Genesis emulator in a controller that will auto launch on any Windows computer 2000 or newer hope you enjoyed and peace out peeps <laughs>